You're listening to Civic Media. Stay up to date on the latest news and information for your local community and Wisconsin by signing up for our free email newsletter. Visit civicmedia.us slash email to get started. Coming to Northeast Wisconsin live from the Civic Media Studios and featuring TV and radio broadcast veteran John Mino, along with the city of Green Bay's longest serving mayor, Jim Schmidt. This is Mino and the Mayor. And here are your hosts, John Mino and Jim Schmidt. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to ya. Nice morning out there. Not horrible, huh? A little hey, chilly? A little chilly. chilly on your walk. <laughs> Did you say Friday, though, 81? Yes. Well, Friday, too. Uh, it's going to be great Friday. So. No, not Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday's going to be nice. Saturday, football. though, gets, yeah, Saturday gets And we got cool. Cameron Moreland coming in today to talk about he'll, that. He'll give us the load on. And I think I might go see Brittany and go look at the leaves at Granite Peak oh, on you, you're Saturday or such, Sunday. You are such a wuss. <laughs> we'll see about that. I showed oh. you. I sent you. I you was looking out night. for you. You did, and I sent you the best place in the Midwest to go and look at leaves. But Brittany, and you won't do it. No, Brittany's not going to be there. I think you know what? I bet Brittany would do it. I bet I, Brittany would drive to Ironwood, Michigan, to the Ski Flying Hill. I'm, uh, Todd, you saw my thing, right? That's that's that is pretty cool. I was doing this out of the kindness of my of my heart for Jim because he wants to find leaves. And if I wasn't busy, man, I would be doing this. Um, yeah. Yeah. 800 feet up on the ski flying hill. Um, go to Copper Peak Adventure Ride. Enjoy a chairlift ride to an 800-foot hilltop. Then take an 18-story elevator to the main observation deck. If you're brave, you can climb stairs an additional eight stories to the starting gate at the top. This provides the highest and most panoramic ma- panoramic views in the entire Midwest, Copper Peak along the Black River Scenic Byway in Ironwood, Michigan. Think about that. So 800 feet plus, it's another 18 26. Stories. Well, it's another 26, really, if you think about it, right? Because you're going 18 and then you climb another 8 or 16 and then 8. You know what I'm we saying? Go, you go chairlift to 800 feet. Right. Well, to an 800-foot hilltop. Right. Then 18-story elevator. Right. And then... Eight more stories climbing outside on the stairs. That's what I'm saying. So that's 26. There's not a 26-story building in Green Bay. <laughs> that's, that's high. Plus, plus on top of an 800-foot hill. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I And that's two hours away? About that. And is an hour I, and a half. Yeah. I, it's about this. I, I'll, I'll call her. I'll call her this afternoon. What okay. time does she get up, Todd? Do you know? <laughs> she's on. She's usually up in the morning. Oh. Could you try I'll to just, get a hold I'll, of her? I'll see if she's up. Text her. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The, I think either way, two hours. I'm looking at Ironwood, Michigan. Well, I think we're going to do- 170 miles. Three out. Well, yeah, for you, good. two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to do that this weekend because then next weekend it might be over. Not over, but it won't be as bright. Um. So. What are the two? We'll go either go there or we'll go to Granite Peak. Granite Peak is $18 on Sunday, six ten. So I don't know. Saturday or Sunday we're gonna go. We're still waiting on people. I thought we we're gonna have some of our people were gonna send us pictures. Yeah. Of the coolest color that we can see. Well, I'm hoping if my car is fixed, I'm hoping to go to the UP Saturday. That's right. And uh, that should be you know, the only negative though is being as dry as it is, I mean Favorite thing in the world is having a big campfire at the camp. Yeah. Yeah, no. And just, yeah. Sunday's supposed to be pretty crappy, though, rain-wise. I don't know if it's going to rain, Sun but it's going to be gonna... cool, like 56, 57, yeah. 58. So. But, but, man, this is the time you you got to have bonfires in the backyard, isn't I agree. it? I agree. That's... Would you have a good fire pit? I mean, is it going to get away on you? Um, <laughs> that's all it would take it's, is one. It's you know? literally, yeah, that's true. It's that, literally a hole in the ground yeah. that would put rocks around. Mm. Uh, mm. If it had a chimney or something with a screen, that was a lame, an outdoor I mean, That's not a real, real fire when you have to look at those things. But no, I was just thinking if you had the rock high, high up, high, yeah, high. no, hmm. not at all. Well, it's right on the ground. You're gonna so, need that though. It's gonna be cool on. You're you're there till what? Did you say you're gonna go till, till, till Tuesday? Till uh, Tuesday. Yep. Yep. Cool. So that's my big getaway for that. Yeah. Got a got a text this morning from Terry. Copper Harbor is the best place for fall colors. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. Just the ride up there even. Yeah. Not, not, I mean, once you get there, obviously it's great, but that ride up for about the last 20 miles is pretty spectacular. 
That area of the UP this time of year is, uh, I mean, you talk about going all the way to Maine. You can just, you can go up there. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. It, it really, it's incredible. I remember one time, though, I was reading a, a guy, a hockey player, when he talked about in college, they used to love their road trips to, like, New Hampshire or Vermont or one of those times, like this time of year, um, just because the colors. Oh, yeah. Just incredible yeah, in that area up there. Just so, But let me ask you this. When you went to Maine, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. is that, that's like a, des- I mean, that's almost like in the spring when people go to, uh, where do they go out there? Um, in Massachusetts. Cape Cod. Oh, yeah. I mean, they said the traffic is so horrible. <laughs> it was then, too. Trying to yeah. get into those places. Yeah. I mean, but that it, takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. Once you get there and they, um, I don't know, Kitty Bunkport and all that stuff. It's, it's great. I, yeah, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. But once you get there, park your car, you can walk around. It's great restaurants. And it's like, it's kind of like Door County, but, you know, a little little bigger and a lot more of them. A little, I, little snootier. <laughs> okay, you're right. right. You're right. A I, told, I told you my, little snooty, my Mike, remember thing. Mike Sherman, the Packers head yeah, coach? Yeah. And I told you my uh, Door County slash uh, Cape Cod story. I don't him. think so. So, think so this was early on when we, we first started having him on the show. And he goes on, on IXX and, um, hey, coach, uh, plans this weekend? It was off season or whatever. And, uh, and he goes, uh, yeah, my wife and I were uh, taking up a plan to Door County. We heard really nice things about Door County. And I go, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's a lot like, you know, a Midwest version of Cape Cod. He goes, you ever been to Cape Cod, John? I go, no. He goes, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good imitation of him. <laughs> Two months later, Door County Magazine, cover story, Packer head coach Mike Sherman. Oh, my gosh. It reminds me so much of Cape Cod. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, yeah. That's nice that A.J. Dillon you know, got the honorary yeah, Key, right. He's like the mayor of Door County. Yeah, remember they gave him that. Um, so that's cool. He that was, was great. Great was having him on oh, yesterday. Yeah, we gotta... And you know what? I'm really happy we didn't talk any football. No, didn't talk his injury. Didn't whatever. Just kind of you know. Yep. Just I enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, he and he, he talks about you know his love of the community. He married into a nice family. Yeah, absolutely. They'll he, get he things really done. Did. Those tunins are good people. Yeah. So I, I think he's he, he could do a lot in our community. You know, and who knows? And he may run for politics. He's articulate, smart guy. Yeah. Um, and I don't think he's going to move. I hope not. Okay, so we can t- can we talk about something else? Is it going to move or not? Oh no! I don't no talk okay. About that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow about that. Okay. okay. We'll talk during the break, Dad. Oh, are we talking this thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh. And that's um, you know how government works. There's these different readings and different zonings, and anyway, so it, any amendments they go back to committee. So today is the. RDA, the Redevelopment Authority. Okay. And it's like final approval. You know, we're you talking see about the, the Packer Heritage Trail uh, statues. Uh, well, really, the 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 approval is for the development. Right. And the development would require the Packer statues moving. Right. So it's not specifically the Packer Got statues. It. It's the development. So the development, 265 units. I mean, it's what? Yeah. It, it's huge. It's going to be great. It's market rate. We need that. But the... Packers, and not everybody's crazy about those statues moving. And I think people were open to it. We've talked about that, right, John? We talked we, we, yeah, we, we, we talked about it a lot. We went and talked to some other people. And there's just nothing. There's not a great alternative. There just isn't. We you thought know? there'd we, be more of a grassroots, hey, don't move our Heritage Hill. This is where the Green Bay Packers formed. I think it's a wonderful historical right. thing that Green Bay needs. But we thought people were going to circle the wagons and say, look, make the developer Incorporate this into his right, project right. or her project, which I think would look fantastic. And then I heard just the other—I don't know if this is true—but that 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 corner may be like uh, a restaurant. Well, what a better way to walk into a restaurant than going through the yep. Packer? That's just My an God. awesome development, and that was an expensive development too. I mean, people aren't really talking about that, but. I got a call from somebody. They're like, how much did that cost? And I'm like, go look at the wall behind there and look at all the people that donated. I mean, you know, the, the banks, Martin, you know, just. Uh, Friday, just, there had to be 30 people out there getting pictures absolutely. taken, taking well, and pictures. Then, and that, it, it, from a city standpoint. Absolutely. That, you should see the, the impressions on TV with that. Yeah. And that helps us as a city. It's no, like it's, it's a everybody beautiful wants monument. That, like, beautiful. He has, you know, the. Uh, the, the Fonzarelli, yeah. the, the bench. They got Fonzie. They got this, everybody's right, got Euchre. their thing, and that's right. like our thing, right? And we have a lot of things, but that's one of our things. Um, and we just, 
nobody, first of all, two things happened. One is there wasn't a big uproar. People are like, well, hmm. I know. I'm or surprised. They, they, or they didn't know or they were apathetic about it. But the other thing is that we just, there was not consensus on it on another location. No, not at all. So, and the Packers are like, you know, we put a lot into that. And Well, there's a reason for it other, being where it is. Well, there's some other, right, right. And Historically. There's, a, there's other people saying, look, um, a deal's a deal. I mean, we all agreed that it was going to be there. The city kind of gave them the land and other people gave them $50,000. A lot of that's, right. I mean, it's real money. It's not like, you know, that was an expensive project. And like, we wanted to stay there. So anyway, I want to get to the point. The way development works, it goes through a committee. So the final reading for that development project is today, the redevelopment authority. All right. They approve it. Or don't approve it. And then it goes to the city council next Tuesday, a week from today, for final, final approval. And after that happens, there's tough to walk that back. You know, when those things are done, they're done. So um, if anybody wants to speak their piece, today or next Tuesday is the day. Wow. So it's come down to that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting a few phone calls on it, and they're like, hey. I mean, you'd think they would have reached some kind of a resolution before now. Right. How long have we been talking about this? Yeah. Three months? Oh, man, longer than that. Probably longer it than that. It seems like since we've been on the air, I swear. I, yeah. It yeah, seems like that was an early spring, topic. Spring. Yeah. You know, that's true. That's yeah. true. So it's just interesting. I mean, there's stuff going on. You remember even in Appleton with the whole library thing? It's just, you know, people, they kind of get concerned at the end. Yeah, at the you know? Yeah, <laughs> but you know, as I said to this guy who called me last night, I said, "Look, man, you, today's the day. I mean, tomorrow's the day. I should say. Um, if you want to go to that meeting, and, and I think he's going, um, but we'll see what happens. It look, I, you would just hate to lose something like that. That's such a totally agree. But there's a reason it's where it is. Oh, I mean, yeah, obviously, you could their... move it over to Lambo Land or whatever you call it, or wherever put there." But there's a reason it's right there. Right. It's because within a quarter of a mile, the entire birth of the Green Bay Packers. That's called heritage. Right? Happened yep. right there. Yeah. And it connects to a pretty cool walk around. It's you know, a this, walk. Absolutely. The, the Every Northland single Hotel. landmark. Right. St. Willowbroad Parish, where Ben Lombardi went. The um, Press Gazette office. Press Gazette office. The Northland Hotel. Absolutely. Those are all things that, and you, when you look at our community, and it's there's a lot of great things. The Packers. <laughs> I mean, come on. Absolutely. There right? are international exposure. And There's never been anything more popular in, in the United States sports-wise than the NFL. There's never been a team more historic and more popular than the Green Bay Packers. That's where they are born. You can't find a way to still appreciate and honor the birthplace? Jim's got that. <laughs> He's got the luck. <laughs> you know, uh, you're, t- uh, you're preaching to the choir, yeah. you know? <laughs> If I were there, no, I just, it, 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 I think I'm with you, John. I well, when you're it back. It belongs there. <laughs> All right, we got to start a quick break. We got a great show coming up. Danielle Bina, Nate Rose, Cameron Moreland, Jason Lowe. Stay with us. Hey, welcome back. Mino and the Mayor here on a Tuesday morning. Today is, uh, let's see what is today. Ooh, Tuesday. Podiatry Day. Is that for your toes? Uh, feet. Podiatrist? Okay. Um, Octopus Day. Newspaper Carrier Day. Were you, Todd, you seem like you would have been a newspaper boy. No, nah, not out no? by me, you know. Too was, far out in the country yep, type stuff? Yep. How about you? you? Yeah. Your I, my boy? brother was. I would just pinch hit for him when he couldn't do it. Uh, uh, it's a journal sentinel, though. Pierogi day? Pierogi. 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 That's an Italian food or something, but I don't what know is what that is. Is it Polish? Or is Pierogies, it... I, I thought, were uh, Polish. Okay. Like a little something something? No, it's it's isn't it rolled up like in... It's basically like a um, uh, a dumpling, right? Yeah, dumpling. But there's inside, it, but it's more than a dumpling, though, right? I mean, there's something inside the I think pierogi. it's potato. Is uh, it potato? Well, that's all it is? Mm. I thought there's some meat in there. You know what's funny? I love gnocchi, but I hate dumplings. Does that make sense? Oh, I love dumplings. Do you? I yeah. can't. Like dumpling soup is like, if you had, a, if you're, if I was in prison, <laughs> when I'm in prison, we know the, we know the last meal. <laughs> Next this time I like, go to prison, um, if they want to torture me, feed me dumplings every day. Dumpling soup. Really? It's like eating a big flour thing yeah. of y- y- flour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Isn't that? But if you grind up. Uh, I don't know if you take 
potatoes and grind those up, add flour, and those dumplings are all right. Plus but salt. I used to make gnocchi with my mom. Tell me what that is again. It's basically almost the same thing. Sounds that's why I'm saying it's like how come I love gnocchis but I hate dumplings? Well, it's got to be the seasoning. It's got to be the seasoning. Dumplings just really it's just salt. I don't think there's a lot in there. But I thought well that's what well, I mean. I don't but, get but where I the pierogies, where's the flavor. But at I least thought with gnocchi have a really see. But good... pierogies there's more than flour in there. There's there's yeah. It's got a, it's like a, a wrapper on the outside. It's but is there right. like meat it's like inside right. there or something or yeah. spinach or okay something. okay so pierogi that's what I thought that was um, dumplings. Are just dough, right? Yeah, pieces of dough. Yeah, right. okay, right. Uh, Bruno Mars is thirty nine. Nick Cannon forty four. Did you think Matt Bruno Damon Mars 54. was older? Yeah, he's been old. around forever. Yeah, like that guy must he's have been young, young kid. I know. He must have been when yeah. he broke into that. Thirty nine. That's I. And I saw that. I thought well, that's, that's really young. Little, yeah. Chevy Chase eighty one. Boy, there's a guy Ugh. who the older he gets, the more negative it seems like about with people that have worked with him. I think. People know he's not like influential or powerful anymore. Right? That's right. Yeah, because they like are it's... boy. They yes. Anybody who worked with him when he was forty, yes. 50, they're all like Did you guys. Just I mean, he sure? got kicked out of that last show he was on, the mm-hmm. Community, yeah. and boy, they say him and um, Dan. No, not Dan Aykroyd. Bill Murray, back in the day with Saturday Night Live. I mean, like they would actually fight. They would actually fight. I think Chevy came back for a guest appearance like the following year after he left, and he and. And uh, what's his name got into it? Murray. Yeah. Um, they say Caddyshack. They'd just keep those guys apart when they were filming Caddyshack. <laughs> they'd, they'd have to shoot their own little scenes, and then the other guy would shoot, and they'd edit them together. Really? Yeah. Do you remember he had that uh, late night talk show? Yes. For a very very, very short time. So did Magic Johnson, the Magic yeah. Hour. Yeah. Right. Oh, they were bad. Who else? Uh, didn't Pat Sajak have one? Pat Sajak yeah, had one. He did. Yep. Yep. And so did Short-lived. Dennis Miller for a little bit. Dennis Miller was funny. He wasn't bad. I, I like Dennis, Dennis Miller. Miller. Yeah. I liked watching him. So if I, things weren't going well, he could just yeah. be oh, Dennis Miller. Yeah. Man. Yep. Hi, baby. <laughs> I liked him with the long hair when he was doing a weekend update type things. <sighs> right. Uh, oh, yeah, he's Sigourney funny. Weaver, 75. I always think of her from Alien. Yeah. Remember I think Alien. of her from uh, Ghost, uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah. A lot of coke on that set. <laughs> Which one? Of Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, really? Right? Oh, yeah. They How do you know this? I just, I, I read about it. Just, yeah. There was. Yeah. There, it just, just reading about it. <laughs> yeah, I will say so. Bill Murray, <laughs> Bill Murray had a knack for pulling off a, a line as good as name back Because I remember in Ghostbusters when, you know, they go to Sigourney Weiner's, Weaver's place to uh, check out for ghosts. And uh, it's like, okay, in here, the blah, blah, blah. And he opens the door. He goes, she goes, no, that's my bedroom. Nothing crazy's happened there. He goes, huh, that's too bad. <laughs> he, that. he just had that perfect hey, timing for throwing those in. They have. Um, oh, quick survey, though, Jim. Over, under, on Jim actually going to see the leaves in the UP. Take, um, it's going to happen. Well, you're not going to the UP, though. Oh, no, that's too far. I'm not going to go three hours. No, it's really up to Brittany. Whatever she says right. we're going to do. Um, it anyway, is also the anniversary of the Peshtigo fire. I saw that. I can't believe that went all the way to Champion. Where yeah. the shrine is. Yeah, yeah. And that, that jumped the river and Unbelievable. survived that. Um, you know, we were talking about Ghostbusters. I, I, there was an article um, today, yesterday, on the most haunted places to go to in, by state. Okay. State. Todd, this state, it was um, the Four Seasons. The the Fister? No, 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 no. no. Like in, is it in Pembine or not? Oh, oh, it's on the way. Oh, I know where you mean. Al Capone. Yeah, well, yeah. A uh, little Bohemia. Yeah, but, that's a, but the Four Seasons, it's kind of like a resort. You take a bridge across the river to right. it. And they say that's the most, like, oh, the, really? the noises and whatever the stuff these guys find. Or they think yeah, I've they never find been there. I've always wanted to go there. I think, isn't it kind of like up towards the town of Pembine? Breed? It is, it is Pembine. Yeah. Yep. Pembine. Okay. That is, if you look at all the states, that's featured under the state of Wisconsin. That's so weird because I've never heard I've never that. heard that before either. Never. I've always heard the Fister. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Major League Baseball players, legitimate Major League Baseball players have said weird things have happened there. Yeah. Did you see that Tigers game? Did you see the end of that Tigers game yesterday? Oh, my God. Dramatic home run. Two outs, two strikes. Then he hits this home run. Should keep the series alive. Keep the Tigers alive. Oh. You know what I love about watching the Tigers play? They wore the same uniforms they wore when I was collecting baseball cards when I was like nine. That's cool. Talk about tradition. Oh, yeah. 
You know, like the Yankees, Dodgers, yeah. Tigers, Red Sox, pretty much. Got this one, Jim. Two casinos on your way to Marquette. One that has a sports book where you can bet on the Badgers. That's right, because we can bet on them. I would have won two weeks in a row on the Badgers, but now Vegas is on to them, so they'll, you know, right. they'll have odds aren't going to be as good. Uh uh-uh. uh no. You got to jump on those when you, you can. You got to get in early. That's why the, my the bet I took for the Packers NFC Championship seventeen to one, ten bucks. I'm going to win one hundred seventy. You gotta bucks. get that edge. You gotta get that edge. Nah, you gotta man. find some I got, kind I got of that edge. ticket. I want to give that ticket away to one of our listeners. I want to come up with a contest. You know, before I don't know if that's legal. Is it? Mm. it? Hasn't stopped I, me before. Well, I know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I I guess you could, huh? So you want to give your winning ticket for him to claim before the game? I mean, I want to oh, have some kind of contest. I thought where you, you meant what you bet and won. No, you wanted to give that to him, and he gets the money. Fun. No, no, somebody can win. Somebody can get my ticket. I was going to have say, an opportunity who are you? to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to you, I know. <laughs> well, we got to set our break. Danielle Bina coming up. Nate Great. Gross, where do you hear about this guy's local artist project? Cameron Moreland, NBC 26, Jason Lowe. Top dog contest. Todd, I want you to talk about that when we come back. All right. Back up this. You're listening to Civic Media. Find the latest news, information, and archives of all your favorite shows on the Civic Media website, civicmedia.us. App today from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. And text the studio directly, all from the Civic Media app. Download it today. Now, once again, here's Mino and the Mayor, John Mino and Jim Schmidt. Hey, thank you very much. Welcome back to Mino and the Mayor. We're going to have a good day today. 40 degrees in Green Bay, 45 in Alton. 43 in Oshkosh. Boy, we had a good time yesterday with our young man, uh, our little podcaster, huh, Todd? And Beckett K. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. I got a few comments on that. So, yeah, he, <laughs> he's a confident kid. That's, that's great. It's nice to see um, someone like that get that opportunity. And again, as I said yesterday, I'll say it again today. It's because of the Boys and Girls Club. I mean, they have their whole recording studio there. And, oh, do uh, they? Oh, it's unbelievable what they have. They You got to go see that. That... I mean, this is really nice what we have here, but that will put um, any podcast that people are using to. to You're the kidding! Test. Oh, it's unbelievable. So can kids Plus go in can and do use videos it like or what? Yeah, you can do videos too. Oh my gosh, I'd love to take my granddaughters here because whenever oh, yeah. they visit, I have to bring them in here and they have to play radio <laughs> talk show. No, that that's cool because they then, love putting the headphones on. Yep, but there they can do videos too. Wow! Um, and you know, it's five bucks a year to be a, a member of the Boys and Girls Club, and just anyway that. Got him not only his start getting in front of a microphone, and I don't know if he did any video, but they're also helping him get some clients or some, um, what do you call them, just interview people. They're the ones sure, who got sure. him Mark Murphy and got him this. Uh, yeah. So I just, you know, big shout out to them. I mean, they, 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 kids can do a lot. You wouldn't believe, I know, I'm sure you volunteered there, but pretty disciplined program. Um, They get there, you know, after school, they have their little snack, and then you do your, you, you sign up to tutor them with their homework. Really? That's cool. Well, I haven't done much there, to be honest with you. I've done fundraisers, you know, banquets. But oh, yeah. Donald Driver was really big into that yeah. place. But a lot of those Packer players were because a lot of them used the Boys and Girls Club Absolutely. where they lived. Absolutely. Um, but but I will say that, you know, and I'm like, I'll tutor. So I would go there and um, sometimes the math got a little hard. For me. <laughs> These kids are in seventh grade. I'm like, um, now why don't I do this social studies or English? I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, actually, that, that happened to me one time in high school. Um, had this teacher I got along really good with, and he was helping this young kid who's freshman years. And he goes, you know, John, he looks up to you. I told him that you're in my class and you're the quarterback. And, you know, could you help him out with some of this math during your study hall? Yeah. Same exact thing. Like, wow. I'm like, <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah. 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 You're never going to need this. No, don't worry. <laughs> I, you know, there's all those funny, <laughs> funny memes now. It's like, or the, the teacher's like, if you don't learn all your, the state capitals, you will not succeed in bar trivia. <laughs> it's like, that's the only reason you need that kind of stuff now. Really. Yeah, thing here. Good morning from Tigerton. A Oof. chilly 38 degrees. Furnace is on. Oh, yeah. From Rob. Got a, another one. Good morning from Madison. From Michael. How you doing, Michael? All right. How's things going with the um, with the houses in the yes. area? Simple life. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rutgers minus 2.5 over under 39.5 against the Badgers. I would take the Badgers. No, no. Uh, the over under, though, I think. Oh, you take the Badgers in the two and a half. Yeah. And, but what about the over under? 
The, those college games are always blowouts. I take the yeah. Order. I would too. I'll be honest with you. I would too. It's exactly what I would do. So Rutgers was just <laughs> so. Go bet your money, hun. What I say? <laughs> <laughs> Here, go bet your money. Yeah. Um, I just read something about Rutgers. Why? Why? Why are they in the news lately? Jersey, they mm. they number one on something. Uh, I'll look it up. I don't know. I just remember seeing something about Rutgers. You know, I gotta be honest here. I can't stand the way things have gone with the Big Ten. I used to love it when there was 10 schools. Yeah. And it was all Midwest schools. Right. Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Purdue, Indiana, Northwestern, Ohio State. Boom. We're good. Mm -hmm. Man, they brought in like Penn State. Really? Then Maryland. Really? Yeah. Then Rutgers. Really? And now Southern Cal and UCLA. And uh, it lost its something. Yeah. You know, that was such a fun. We're the Midwest. Yeah. You know, things have gotten so crazy. I mean, even like the SEC, you know, with all these other schools that, going in there. It's right. like, ah, it's really lost its tradition. And I'll tell you what, God bless them. You know, money is king or whatever. But, boy, did they chase the money, all these administrators. <laughs> oh, dude. And man. they're making tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, they do. They It's greed. That's what's driving It's that. like they've, they've ruined the conferences yeah. for greed. Yeah. And don't think a bunch of it isn't a bunch of those old guys, that old boys club, all basically saying, "Hey, there, uh, you know, if we we did this, we're we're gonna, you know, it's, this this could be great for the school and great for the alum and great for the students, and, but really, it's gonna be great for us. <laughs> you know that it's like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to make seven million dollars this year right. because boy, right. look at the responsibility I've got. It's gluttony. It's sports has gotten to be gluttony by the people who run it. What surprises me about sports is it's supported by people that." Don't have that kind of money. You know, I mean, the advertisers do. What I'm talking about the 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 people who go. Like, you go to a Packer game. There's eighty thousand people there. Half those people probably make, I don't know, fifty thousand or less. Oh, easy, and, yeah. And yet they're but watching people play thing. millions and yeah. millions. And I just they they continue to support it. I guess that kind of like surprises, not surprises me. It's like that's kind of weird. Like I would be like, wait a minute, enough is enough. But, well, I still get a kick of the thing. It's like you know. But I still go. NFL taking donations for the hurricane or for, okay. Roger Goodell is making like $72 million a year. I think it's Roger, Roger. You couldn't just say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to write a check. <laughs> Folks, thanks for helping. But, you know, help load up the trucks going down, but I'll, uh, I'll give them $5 million. I got $2,800 million. You would think, wouldn't you? Account. Wouldn't you? I mean, if, let's if he would just come out and say, I'm going to give $5 million. What would you do if you had $72 million? I'd give $5 million to the hurricane. Not even a question. I would take yeah. what I need to live on, and the rest would yeah. go wherever it, it needed to go. Period. Absolutely. And you look at that. Absolutely. It would be great the first year to have $72 million, but after that, the pipeline. Right. What do you what, do? That? You how many cars work, can you drive? Exactly. How many houses can you live in? Exactly. How many jets can you fly in? Exactly. You know, there's like, okay, wait a minute. I get this again and again and again. You know what? So. I remember when George Perlis was going to be hired by the Packers after Forrest Gregliff. He was the head coach at Michigan State. He would accepted the job. I mean, he— Officially accepted the job and then had second thoughts and backed out. And and he even said in his little press conference, he said, you know, when you're in the coaching business, you make zero money starting out. I mean, you you, you know, you work at a gas station because, you, can, you know, mm-hmm. you're a grad assistant or you scrape and you keep thinking, okay, when I get to this level, I can, you know, go to that restaurant or I can buy that car or I can do whatever. And he says, you know what? I'm at the point now Michigan State is taking, it's like, how many more steaks do I need to eat? Right. That's exactly what he said. How I, that was always my dream. I'm gonna get so I can go into a restaurant, order whatever kind of steak right. I want. He goes, I can, and I can do it pretty much the rest of my life. And I, yeah, I'm happy here. Right. I'm not gonna chase that money anymore. And I, I thought that it. was really yeah. refreshing That's for cool. him to say that. Wow. But my God, it gives a little bit ego though too, right? No question that this is I make more than you. Absolutely, you need it. But, Not you know, even a question. Yeah, yeah, but I just think yeah. that you know there's so much money in the NFL, and God bless them. They ask college for the people and college, but they've got so much. They're just they're sucking it in more and more and more until <laughs> they just explode. <laughs> it's like how much more can you possibly suck in? It's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, so Todd, tell it. Well, Danielle, I'm really excited about having Danielle. We've had her in once before, didn't we? We a couple times. Yep. Um, yep. I, 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 I still remember this when I worked with Danielle. The very first day when I met her and we were talking, she says, "Yeah, um, you know, this is why I went to school for bridges." You know, to be honest with you, someday I really hope to be a teacher. And yeah. here, after a tremendous career in the media, um, she's a teacher. Mm-hmm. GB. I think that's really cool. Yeah. 
It you know, is. people doing what they've always wanted to do. Yeah. And there's, you know, again, there's there's a profession where there's no money in it, but boy, it's rewarding. Absolutely. That, that's, that's a pretty cool profession. Yeah, good for her to, and she, you're right, she always wanted to do that, um, which I think is pretty cool. It'd be nice to get an update because, you know, it's teaching, there's teachers on the bubble too. I mean, right? You look at St. Norbert, even yeah. GB, the university, it's like, oh, do we have enough money to do this, to do that? And um, you know, sports is pretty protected, but you know, some of these, I think she's in communications, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's great though. I think that's I, awesome. Uh, me too. I just hope that's- Scotty B says sports hasn't been the same since they went away from the Olympian conference. Oh, I used to love the Olympian conference. Remember them? No. Brilliant. And all those kind of teams all together, all the same size schools, small town schools. They would all battle each other. You could drive within 45 minutes to each school. <laughs> WI, don't even get me started on the WIA. I'm not I'm not going to start about what they've done with realignments and everything and sending schools yeah. from Appleton to the same conference to Wausau and and what they've done, what they have done with the high school basketball tournaments is a sham. It's horrific. They used to hold the big events at the Brown County Arena. Obviously that's gone now, but they'd hold those sectional sectional tournaments there if you didn't get there 2 hours before the game. If you weren't in line when the doors open, you didn't get into the game. Hmm. They were. It was that popular. It was jam packed. I can still talk to people right now and say, "What's the greatest moment of your life?" As far as outside of birth of your kids or whatever, it would be the sectional tournament at the Brown County Arena. Mm. The atmosphere in there was so fantastic; it was mind boggling. And of course, WIA did away with that. Well, they moved it to Madison, was, right? They moved it all over. No, not even to Madison. They moved it all to these little places. You oh. know, just out of you know so. So kid, what kids would have well, to do? Well, the sectionals. I think okay, they went yeah. out of their way, so kids would have to drive about eighty miles to a game on a school night. I think they uh, that homework was overrated or something. I don't even know. I don't even know exactly what happened. Uh, but yeah. Really. So uh, another article is looking at besides the best places to for haunted in every state, safest cities, and that was a a survey on the safest cities went down to one hundred and eighty eight and in not. the and, state or no in the country. country in the country safest cities safest cities but in get, the country yeah but. Then you look at, you know. But is like, it a minimum of like 100,000 population? Uh, I didn't, I was trying to find out what what their parameters were. But this is a really interesting study because they always tell you, remember when school, it's like, oh, look look behind, you know, the, the studies and who's asking the questions and all stuff. But what they, safety, everybody thinks of crime, right? Sure. But they had safety in a city in terms of um, fraud, in, in really of scammers. Okay. I think that's cool to put that in there. Like, this is, you can get these places in Vermont. Well, and- you can get scammers any place. My mom, I'll never forget this. And I was home on vacation, but I was at the store or someplace. And I came home and she goes, and she's elderly and she was disabled kind of and everything. And she, and she was sitting on her porch and says, these two guys came here and said, I need a new driveway. I said, who said that? I said, I don't know, two guys. And they didn't want to leave. They said, oh, no. So she said, I will call my son who's the sheriff and ask him and he was his brother was the sheriff she said that he left so fast it was yeah. mine by like one knocked over a chair or something getting out of there i think that should be in the in the uh, the criteria for a safe city scammers i think the less of that the i think safer scammers, you are i think there's a lot of stuff that goes into safety but i i thought that was cool that they factored that into their safest cities i agree i think people that pray on older people like right. that there's got to be a special place in prison. You know, they talk about where P. Diddy is in prison right now, where there's like rats and cockroaches. They need a special place for people that scam old people. Yeah. You, you put them in that in that spot. Yeah, I don't think there'd be a lot of public uproar about that. There would be no public uproar. <laughs> I hate scammers that scam <laughs> elderly people. people. Yeah. That's the worst. Anyway, the but, absolute worst. Yeah. But we didn't, Madison was in there, Milwaukee, but we didn't make the cut. So, so what was the safest city? Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Cedarburg. Or wasn't there a Wisconsin one? Well, there was a couple Wisconsin ones, but is it Cedarburg that like antique kind of town? Oh, it's Cedarburg's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's strawberry. Um, I would say that. I actually, you know what I used to, do? you know what I, you know what one of my, you guys are gonna laugh. You know what my favorite things to do in the fall used to be? Mm, leaves. No, no, no. Pumping. No, no, no. Carving. No, no, no. Going um, to like farm auctions. And things like that. You must. Are you kind of a hoarder? You yeah, seem big to, time. Anybody who can dig up their ACT big score time, big from time hoarder. Forty years ago. Big I, I aren't help. you though a little bit too? 
No. Uh, oh, you told me about your garage. How long did it take you to clean out your garage? Well, I got a lot of stuff in my garage. Okay. In my garage. But okay, is that hoarding? I mean, it's not my uh, house. Well, what is it? Collecting. I got a lot of There's a fine line between dishes. hoarding and collecting. A lot of dishes. A lot of dishes. How do you have lots of dishes? <laughs> I do. How, do you, how is that possible? Lot, lot By the way, dishes. Madison, Wisconsin was number 19 in the okay. safe In the nation? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the, now, that's, that's pretty the only cool. one. That's the, that's the top in Wisconsin. Okay. The, wow. the top top was South Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. The Vermont thing. Nobody, mm. nobody knows where they are. Mm. I would like to go to there someday. That's one part of the country I've never been. Yeah. Vermont. New England. Yeah. It's it's what you think it is, though. I will it tell is. you. It just. You've been there, Todd? Yeah. Yeah. It it just is. It's like that whole Bob Newhart thing. And, yeah. Um, it, it's very, very green. Tons of trees. Every, it's just. it It's what you think. It's small little Yep, white buildings and it's it's like I'm in Vermont. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't like wow. It okay, was like yeah. they're okay. going to use that now as their state <laughs> yeah. motto. Wow, I'm in Vermont. I'm in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that, but yeah, it's former wanna... Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt <laughs> welcomes you. Wow, I'm in Vermont. It, uh, I like it. Yeah, it's all it's, right. You gotta check it off the list though. So. All right, we gotta set our quick break. If you can get a hold of Brittany Todd, work it out. I want to talk to her. Back after this. Here, 97.9 FM, WGBW, 98.3 FM, WISS, and of course, the Civic Media app worldwide. Tune in. I, I don't got a text here. Despite Jim's description of Vermont, I, I think there's going to be more. I think, I think Todd, Todd stopped and went to go open the, the door. door for Danielle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was it again? Wow, I'm in Vermont. So I just was, thought it was what I expected. I didn't, oh. You know, sometimes you go to places like, if you go to the Grand Canyon, you, you have an ex- expectation you get there, like, oh my God, it's unbelievable. And even you know New York, San Francisco. I think some of those bigger cities. You kind of go there, and it's like, wow, this this is unbelievable. The energy, but Vermont. I went there, and I was like, yep, this is what I thought. You know, I was reading a thing, and about- I liked it. I'm not saying I, well, there's maple syrup and everything else, but um, I, had, I had I had a friend who lives there, and went and was over at his house, and it was kind of what I expected. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I hope people don't think I, I love Vermont. I thought it was very nice, but what was it, Todd? What's it? Despite Jim's why, description why, of Vermont, what? So, yeah, let me pull up the comment here. Um, despite Jim's description of Vermont, it sounds lovely to me. What's wrong with trees? <laughs> I you did say, lots of trees. <laughs> there are a There's lot a lot of, of trees. A lot, of, a lot, a lot what of trees. What were they going to put on the billboard, though, that he said earlier? We got to write that one down. No, just, Vermont, I'm here. No, no wow, I'm in Vermont. I mean, just wow, it, I'm in, I'm in Vermont. Maybe that's it. Wow, did, I'm in Vermont. It didn't have a big wow factor to me. That's okay. what it was. All right. I loved it, though. I don't want to take anything away from Vermont. I think it's a great place but like i don't know what nobody lives there i mean like isn't it like, like mount pillar is like again capital. I mean, walk in vermont <laughs> nobody lives here <laughs> no but even Todd, their <laughs> worst worst chamber of commerce <laughs> slogans that anybody could ever if they wanted a, a guy to hire it's not vermont. congested there's a lot of trees <laughs> Vermont. <laughs> Nobody lives here. They do. do, just, do, do you remember Jim cap- last Vermont. week? Vermont. Wow, that's ca- what I expected. <laughs> Jim last week. We need more people. We've got all this empty land. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I, 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 it's out there. It's like just land. It's like, we need to develop that land. Well, that is, there's a lot of land. But, we just okay, got anyway. another text from that listener. I, Jim digging a deeper hole. <laughs> I am. You're right. I'm getting out of this. I'm gonna, I love Vermont. One of my favorites. Okay, we're handing out a prize package today oh, for anywhere that can top Jim. <laughs> with the worst Chamber of Commerce type Visitors Bureau slogan for Vermont. For Vermont. 
We got another text from Brian. Maybe Jim is why Bernie Sanders is so grumpy all the time. Yeah, that, that, that's the other problem with Vermont. So. <laughs> Vermont is why Bernie Sanders is so grumpy. Yeah. But even that the, person's in the lead for our prize yeah. package. I think their largest yes. city is smaller than Green Bay. Okay. It's just, it's just, it just wasn't a lot of density. and It was great. I, I don't, you know, skiing is good, you know, but it was green. Okay. It was green, man. There's a lot, a lot of trees out there. A lot of trees. So, All right, anyway. then. All right. Well, it's good that you've been around a lot, though. I mean, uh, you know, I was reading the thing. It's like 20 things that every person should try to do in their lifetime. I mean, like, I've never, I, I lived in Arizona for six years. I never went to the Grand Canyon. Ooh. Yeah. That. Um. Never been to the Empire State Building. Have you ever been on top of that? No, of course. I never. Okay. All right. Damn it, guys. Um, we Bobby, just got a text from Michael who says that there, uh, <laughs> there's a great fine linen shop in Vermont. See? <laughs> he's got, he's got the I website believe. for you, Jim. I, oh. I, I believe that. <laughs> Vermont. I come for the linens. <laughs> yeah, stay for the green. Yeah. yeah. Come for the linens. Come stay for the, the green. Linens, stay for the green. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. Help us out, people. Uh, speaking we'll get of the here. linens, though, I this, this weekend, uh, depending what Brittany says, or else I'm going to Manitowoc to that raw museum. Remember that guy was in here yeah, the talking linen about thing. the linen thing? One of the TV stations the other night had a big really? story on the linen display. Yeah, it's going on. Well, it's not just linen display. It's table setting displays. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. It's table setting. They how, many, how many sets of table settings do you have? You said you have a lot of dishes. Yeah. Do you have a lot of like silverware and stuff like that? Yeah, I'd say, I think 13. 13, 13. sets? Yeah. 13 sets of dishes? Yeah. 12. For sure. I gave one away at that uh, bridal shower, so 12. Why do you have 12 sets of dishes? Because I like dishes. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, you take, hey, texters, just in general, how many sets of dishes do you I, have? I, it's and, China. And when I was, it's... How many sets of China do you have? Yeah. Okay. When I was growing up, it would be, are we including the stuff we got from the gas station <laughs> for having the stamps or no? Does it does it have to does, match? Do they yeah, have, right. no, I'd have the Sinclair so. gas station ones. Then we used to get some from uh, Shell. I just, yeah, it just, yeah. And then, and then you accuse me of being a hoarder. <laughs> it's yeah, okay. Wow. But what about silverware sets? Like, do you have more than one? Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Some of it's well, no, some of it's gold and silver. Some of it's gold. Some of it's Christmas. You know, it's got the um, mm -hmm. that, sure. Yeah, it's got the red and green and um, like it's not a diamond, but it would be those three little. Okay. That's cool. It's a cool set. Of oh, I'll bet that's cool. It is. Did you bring uh, it down for your Christmas party last year? Oh, yeah. No, okay. I didn't no. have it for when you guys I don't were think over? so. No, yeah. no, I don't remember be, seeing no, that. No, I, think, I think you had paper plates. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I had those that's Christmas. What I remember. Uh, and rolls of paper towel to yes. wipe your hands on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Um, Grand prize. You win a set of uh, Mayor's I, I, dishes. I do. Yeah. 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 But the settings are either for um, 6, 8, 10, or 12. They're not all 12. Seen one of them. Well, maybe it's eight is the smallest I got. I have to look. I don't know. I have a lot of dishes. I do, but I like entertaining and I like using different dishes for different events. And no. it was, you know, to match the food too a little bit. You don't want to put like beef on a, on a red. <laughs> That's so dish. funny. I've got one set of silverware and it's oh. good for all food. It doesn't <laughs> I, matter what. I I'm basically eating. use plastic for it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, got one here. On. Vermont, we kick New Hampshire's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, major prize package, the yeah. worst. <laughs> Welcome to Vermont. Vermont, Slogans, you no, can come up. I with. think Vermont's a great state. It's I just know. Not, it's not. There's just not a lot there, man. Yeah. I just, okay. Anyway, all right. I love Wisconsin. Well, we got to set a quick break. We get back. Danielle Bina will be joining us. That'd Stay tuned. Awesome. Back after this. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 